Hey guys, Ash here from cusforward.com and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to swap the memories for the Galaxy S4 i9 500. So what I'm talking about is the i9 500 has a low internal storage. So as you can see, you get about 8.8 .8 gigs of internal storage. So I'm using a 32 gig plus 10 micro SD card here. So what we're going to do here is we're going to swap these so that the Galaxy S4 believes that the 32 gig micro SD card is actually the internal storage and the 8.8 .8 gigs is my micro SD. And it's also very easy to uninstall this mod and get the memories back to the way they were. I will be covering that in this video as well. Once we are done with this tutorial, your storage is going to look like this. The advantage here is that when you download a huge game or something, it downloads uh, and installs onto your micro SD. So effectively, your internal storage can be increased to up to 64 gigs. So as you can see, I'm using a 32 gig class 10 micro SD card. You, you see a 10 inside the circle. That's the class of your card. That's the read write speed. So it is recommended that you use a higher class card here. So at least a class four or above so that you don't have any lag or performance issues. Just keep in mind, higher the class, better the performance. And also keep in mind that this method will work with only TouchWiz based ROMs. So if you're on stock ROM, you've just rooted and got Clockwork Mod Recovery installed, or if you're on a ROM like Android Revolution HD, Omega, 1M Lite, uh, this method will work. But if you're on a ROM like Cyanogen Mod or any AOSP ROM, this will not. So just keep in mind, it will work only with TouchWiz based ROMs. The prerequisite here is that your Galaxy S4 i9-500 needs to be rooted and have a custom recovery like Clockwork Mod Recovery installed. If you haven't done that already, right below the like button in the description, I've got a link that'll take you to my video tutorial on how to root your Galaxy S4 i9-500 and get Clockwork Mod Recovery on it. So go ahead, get that done and let's continue. Again guys, this method will work only with the i9-500 variant, that is the Exynos Octa-Core variant. It will not work with the Qualcomm Snapdragon variant. I have the Qualcomm Snapdragon, that is the i9-505, and this does not work with it. So once, uh, once a method is available for the i9-505, I will annotate it onto the video. I will also include a link to that video tutorial in the description. So guys, the first thing you do is hit link 1 from the download section in the description and that will take you to this thread. Download the Atom kernel and transfer to the internal memory of your Galaxy S4. So once you've done that, connect your micro SD card to your Windows PC via a micro SD card reader. And once it's detected, right click on it and select format. So over here you can select either FAT32 or XFAT. So before you format it, just back up whatever you want on the micro SD card, we can transfer it later on. Now click on link 2 in the download section in the description and that will take you to this thread on XDA developers forums. So depending on whether you formatted your micro SD card as XFAT or FAT32, download the relevant file. It will be a zip file, transfer this to the internal storage of your Galaxy S4 as well. So once you've transferred these two files, now pop your micro SD card back into your Galaxy S4 and let's get started. So right now guys, hold the up volume, power and home buttons on your Galaxy S4. Keep holding it. And once you see Galaxy S4 displayed, you can let the keys go. This will take you to uh, Clockwork Mod Recovery. All right, so let me just pull the phone in closer and adjust the focus. All right, so now the volume keys act as navigation keys and the power button doubles for selection. So go to install zip from SD card, choose zip from SD card, zero slash, and now navigate to wherever it is that you have uh, the first zip file, that is the Atom kernel. So select Atom kernel, go down, select yes, install. All right, so now go back and hit reboot system now. So give it, a, give it a minute to boot back up.
all right guys we're up so guys now what you do is again hold the up volume power and home button we're gonna go back to recovery we just needed it to boot uh, boot with the new kernel ones so now just keep holding it let the keys go once you see Samsung Galaxy S4 displayed all right we're back in recovery so again pulling it in a little closer adjusting focus okay so now I've installed zip from SD card choose zip from SD card zero slash now I'm selecting the ext2 internal SD I have my micro SD card sorted as, I mean uh, formatted as fat32 so selecting it now install select it so that's it it's done so go back reboot system now give it a few seconds to boot back up So, all right, going into settings, okay, more storage, and there you see my device memory now says 29.23, that's my 32 gig micro SD card, and my internal storage now, sh now shows as my SD card, that's 8.92 gigs. So, whatever I download and install now will get installed to my, uh, to my micro SD. So, uh, like I said earlier, if you want to get rid of this uh, mod, it's really easy. All you need to do is, once again, boot back into recovery go back to install zip from SD card choose zip from SD card zero and again select the same file that we used and select yes install so there you see it says uninstalled now so now go back reboot system And we're up going into settings more storage and as, as you can see your memory is swapped again your device memory again shows as 8.8 .8 gigs the micro SD shows shows as 29.23 so that's pretty much it for my video on swapping the memories for your Galaxy S4 i9 500 if you guys run into any issues or if you guys have any technical queries you feel free to hit us up at cusforward.com slash forums and before you go, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button because we'll be coming out with more videos for the Galaxy S4 and other Android devices as well. So thanks a lot for watching. Hope you guys liked the video. Hope you found it useful. And uh, if you guys want to stay updated on my latest videos and updates or if you guys have any video requests for me, feel free to hit me up on Facebook, Twitter or Google+. All the contact details to my social networks can be found right below the like button in the description. So that's it for now. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you guys soon. This is Ash here from CurseForward.com signing off. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye now.